Hello Miller, Strategy Bell Gamers, and LOTR SBG Team fans. We are here with a long overdue unboxing video. Uh, we will be unboxing some of the new models released. Um, so stay tuned and see what is going on. Alright guys, so we're here with the uh, the models that we're going to be unboxing today, and the dice <laughs> as well. Uh, so the model is the new uh, Elrond model. Um, it's from the uh, last Alliance battle. Comes mounted, looks awesome. And uh, the dismount version also looks awesome. Uh, Elrond was one of those old models who would, uh, I think, really needed a... Uh, a facelift in his model. So, this is the box here. I do think it's cool that he came with a banner. Um, and uh, the banner model is also really old, so... <laughs> um, it looks really cool. Here's the dice here. The dice came in this bag, and uh, they had this label label over, over it. Um, I took the label off so I could open the top of the dice. So uh, the dice, the number, the six has been replaced with a uh, high elf helmet, and I really do like the uh, the color of these. So now all we need is a uh, set of Gondor dice. As you guys have watched the channel long enough know, I've been wanting for uh, for years now. <laughs> See how these roll. Hey, not bad. Two sixes. And a five. And the rest of that's not too good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so those seem to roll pretty pretty alright. Alright guys, let me um, cut this packaging here. And um, we'll uh, look over the sprues and then I'll put it all around together. And we can look at the final, the final product. Alright guys, so I cut the uh, the wrap off of this, so it should be ready to open. I do like the uh, the new boxes for the Middle Earth uh, line, they, uh, they're really awesome. Uh, so it comes with two little flaps here, to take out, or one little flap I guess. Do this one handed. Right, there we go. Opens right up. And LR will not be the last model I buy, but I'll try to do unboxing videos for for all of them. Okay, so it comes with a uh, Cavalry base and two uh, foot troop bases. Some instructions, it looks like. Looks actually really easy to put them together. Uh, this mount looks like it's a little bit more involved. Or, sorry, the mounted version looks like it's a little bit more involved, but not too bad. Alright, so it comes in one sprue. Some of this guy here. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna paint these guys yet. Uh, I do have a high, some high off models I need to paint. I might try to um, go for more of a Hobbit uh, color scheme. Uh, let's see. I can't see Elrond's face, but. Looks really good. I'm glad he's a plastic model. 
No, there's a little one right there. Um, those faces look cool. Anyway, let me uh, put them together so you guys can see the final product. All right, Miller Threads Battle Gamers, I'm back. Um, this took probably about 20, 25 minutes or so to put these guys together. Very straightforward. If you follow the uh, directions, um, then you shouldn't have a problem. Everything kind of falls into place. Um, I did not glue them to their bases because I will be using, I'll be practicing some different basic techniques I saw later. Uh, saw earlier, sorry. And um, see how that turns out. Uh, so I used... The uh, Citadel, or sorry, the Army Painter plastic glue. I normally use the Citadel, but this stuff seems to be a, a pretty good alternative. And then, of course, my uh, Army Painter uh, clippers. So, uh, that did the trick. So, let's go with Elrond Dismount first. He's the first one who's in the instructions. Let's get it good. Try to get them focused in. Well, that kind of does it. Let me put them down and see if that does it. There you go. Let's zoom in. So he looks really good. Um, very easy to put together. Next, let's go with the banner guy. This guy is also really easy to put together. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. I like the different details I put on him. And he looks really good. I love these plastic models. I hope they release, keep releasing some of the older models. This is the guy that took the longest, the uh, mounted Elrond. And uh, he looks really awesome. Very cool static pose. Let me see if I can get a good. Yeah. There are a couple uh, cracks, or we can see the joints fitting together, uh, which you can easily cover with, uh, you know. Um, green stuff, but all in all, it was awesome, and I love the plastic model. So, comes on a really good contact point. So, <laughs> if you guys have ever pants uh, uh, glued some of those older metal models together, then you know all about them contact points. <laughs> I hope you guys uh, like. Subscribe and comment below, and as always, enjoy your Miller hobby.